Greetings all 3,017 members of the Get Right Gang and the 40% who still haven't hit the subscribe button yet. My name is Jamal. Welcome to day 37 and a new personal best is a Percy. I'm down 55 pounds, 55.2 pounds in just 37 days. That is a 1.1 pound loss since yesterday. As you can see, your boy is getting leaner by the day. And let me just say a big thank you to everyone for allowing me to hit 3,000 subscribers after just 37 days. Absolutely incredible. And here is the updated weight chart. As you can see, everything is going very, very smoothly. Very few fluctuations there is pretty much going in a straight line all the way down to my goal weight. Let's keep going. What is today's day? Let's go! New personal best again. Let's get right. And that's not all, folks. I know you love these. So if you aren't aware, I've set myself a challenge to do 25 press ups by the end of February. Last time I managed to squeeze out 10. Let's see how many I can do today. It's your boy Jamal here and it is super early in the morning the sun still hasn't quite rise yet so I'm up even before the break of dawn and it's time to get some work in I've been planning to do this for a while I talked about this a few days ago but uh, I'm gonna go for a walk I'm gonna hit some stairs which I talked about before and I'm gonna try and see if there's some seagulls out there that I can feed so I just woke up it's like freezing cold outside it's really foggy as you can see Literally looks like Hogwarts out there, but I'm going to get some work in because that's what champions do. Saturday morning, while everybody's still hungover and recovering or doing a walk of shame, I'm going to go get some work. So before that, I'm going to make some pasta. Talked about this before in the last few days. I've got some leftover pasta that I'm not going to be eating because it doesn't fit my diet plan. But apparently seagulls can eat pasta, so I'm going to make some pasta for them. And if I see them, I'll feed them. If not, I'll just put it back in the fridge and maybe try another day. But no guarantees that I'm going to see the seagulls. But if I do, then I've got you. <laughs> so let's go make some pasta. Yeah. First of all, let me put on my uh, badass kettle. Let me switch it on first. Let me switch off the light and show you how cool my kettle is. Yeah. Now that. That's a cool kettle. Must say. But I'm also a bit of a nerd, so I like my tech, I like my gadgets. Right, let me put on the hob. And uh, yeah, so today is day 37. Day 37 and we lost, lost about a pound yesterday. So the trend continues. Yesterday I did a home workout for about two hours, maybe less than that. Uh, did some cardio, some HIT. IT talked about this before but I just put on an exercise video and I do some movements that I follow from the exercise video. And let me get the pasta. Here it is. It's only a small amount. That should be enough to keep them goals happy and off my case. Yeah just just a tiny bit. And I'm gonna blend it up after. I'm gonna blend it a little bit to make it smaller. Because I don't know if seagulls can eat whole pasta like this and I don't want them to choke and die. I'd have a surprise Pikachu face if that happened. So I'll just wait for my kettle to boil because it's reasonably loud and then I'll carry on. Voila, kettle is finally boiled. Pipe in hot water. Put that straight in the pot here. Pasta with some water. Just mix it around a little bit. 
that should take about 10 to 15 minutes, maybe a bit longer to cook. So while we're waiting for that, as I was saying, yesterday I did some cardio, some HIIT at home. I just followed the exercise video on YouTube and I burnt about, I burned about 2000 calories in the time that I did the exercise. So while my pasta's cooking, I will show you my exact setup, how I've got my uh, my room set up, show you the exact exercise I do and how I do it. So let's do that. This is my living room, but it also pretty much doubles as my workout area. And over here is where I put on the vid that I follow. I know this is weird, but I've got some tuna cans and a sack of sand just to hold up the iPad that I use. <laughs> I know that's weird, but let me just give you a bit of a, a tip. You don't have to buy everything. Like sometimes you can just improvise with, with items at your home. I needed an iPad stand and I know they're like super cheap on Amazon, but you don't have to buy everything. Sometimes you can just use things. So I just created an iPad stand out of two can, out of four cans of tuna and a bag of sand. And there you go, iPad stand ready. Like you don't have to pay for, pay for everything. Sometimes you can make things. So that's just a bit of ingenuity. I know it's ghetto and cheap looking, but hey, it gets the job done <laughs> anyway. So I put my workout video on my iPad here. That's the name of the particular video I use. And this is a one hour long video. But to be honest, <clears throat> I don't actually follow this particular video. I have an edited version of this video. And the reason why is because this video has music and I don't want the music. I just want the timer sound. So when it, the timer gets to like five seconds, it goes beep, 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 so to let me know when the next workout is coming. That's all I want. I don't want the music because I like to play my own music. So I have an edited version of this with no music and just a timer. Of timer. But obviously I'm not going to give you the link to that because that wouldn't be fair to this creator who made this video. But just for full transparency, I'll let you know that I use a version without music and just a timer because I play my own music and I just want the timer. That's where I watch my exercise video from. And then over here, I've got a heater. Obviously, I'm in the UK, it's cold. So I always have a heater on. I've got this heater there. Then there's an electric heater I have on over there, which I always put on. Makes the workout a little bit more difficult and it's just freezing cold. So I always have a heater on while I'm doing my workout. <laughs> this chair is broken, so I don't even know why it's here, but uh, I digress. And then over here, these are the headphones I use. Just some cheap wireless headphones, but I like these headphones which go over the back of my neck because, you know, when I'm running or when I'm jumping around or whatever, it, it helps it to make sure that my earphones don't fall out. So I used to have AirPods, but I didn't like them because they're not super comfortable and sometimes they fall out. These ones I find are a lot better. They're very, very cheap and I think they're waterproof as well and they just go around the back of your neck. But I think these are better than AirPods. AirPods are a hype. And so I have that. And now I've also started to use these. I used to use them in the past, but now I use them again because I've gotten stronger. These are just wraps which you put around your ankle or I put around my ankle to add some extra weight. I don't think these are very heavy. I'm not sure how heavy they are, but they're not heavy at all. So I put these around my ankles while I'm following this video, while I'm doing these routines to make it extra hard. And lastly, or second to lastly, I've got some dumbbells, uh, 2.5 kilo, which is about five or six pounds. And I've, again, I followed the routine using dumbbells. So it's a little bit harder than what she's doing, but that's what I do. And then when the dumbbells get too heavy, when I start getting tired, I use these, this small bags of sand. Well, these bags are actually just taken out from here. So I just took them out from here. I didn't actually buy them separately, but sometimes the dumbbell gets too heavy or I start getting tired. So I just switch to those so I can continue going and get some extra work in. And yeah, I've got my, my whole living area optimized. It's pretty much a gym. As you can see, all the furniture is pushed to a side. I don't have no TV or nothing like that. And this is where I just, when I'm resting or when I need to catch my breath, I just sit here and I pick up the dumbbells and I do some like dumbbell movements, like curls, shoulder presses, uh, lat pull downs, no, not lat pull downs, tricep extensions. I just sit here and do that while I'm recovering. 
and then I get back to work doing following the movement here. So the version, like I said, this isn't the actual video I have. This is a one hour video. The one I have, I edited to make it three hours long. And as I said, I edited to, to take out the music and keep the timer in. So that's just for full transparency. If you guys want to do something similar, that's up to you. But obviously I'm not going to give you the link to the one I use because that wouldn't be fair. But yeah, let's check out this uh, pasta over here. Obviously every now and then you want to stir the pasta, make sure it doesn't stick to the bottom. Now what I read online is that even though pa birds can eat pasta, it's not a good idea to give them salt. So I'm not going to put any seasoning and no salt in this. It's just going to be plain pasta. As soon as it's ready, I'm going to put it in the blender for a little bit just to make it smaller. But no seasoning. Don't kill your birds, people. <laughs> be kind to nature. Now, somebody asked me in the comments, or actually several people always ask me in the comments how my weight fluctuates through the day. I had somebody asking me if I can weigh myself multiple times a day. I'm not going to do that. <laughs> I don't want to be sp spending my whole day making videos. I will tell you at least that my weight fluctuates throughout the day, five to 10 pounds. So when I do my weigh-ins, that number that I, that I show on the weigh-ins is normally five to 10 pounds lighter than what I was when I woke up in the morning because I usually weigh myself after I work out. The only time I don't weigh myself after I work out is when I have rest days and I don't actually work out that day. So that's often why my rest days are weigh a lot heavier than I did on the days where I work out because I'm just much heavier and much full, more full of water than I was the, the last day when I did work out. So I can tell you today, I just woke up and weighed myself and I'm 496, which gives you a good idea because my weigh-in that I just showed you at the start of this video was 490. So I gained six pounds last night and the aim is to try to lose at least six pounds today. So we'll see how that goes, but that should give you an idea of how much my weight fluctuates just just in the time that I drink water. And I drink a lot of water and I also sweat out a lot of water. So that's why there's these big giant swings. Anyway, let's see how this pasta's going. Pasta is almost ready. And just quickly, remember what I was saying earlier about not having to buy everything. Sometimes you can just use a bit of creativity and ingenuity and save yourself some money. Obviously, if money is not an issue, then go ahead and do what you gotta do. But for me, sometimes I don't like to buy everything. So I'll give you another example. Here are just some old iPhone boxes. And uh, this is just a, some glue I just use as a counterweight. And what I did is I made myself an iPhone stand. So sometimes I like to watch stuff. If I used to watch my exercise video on my iPhone, so I needed a stand for it. I didn't want to buy a stand. I could have bought one, but I'm like, why? <laughs> What's the point? I can just use stuff in the house. So I made an iPhone stand out of cardboard boxes and duct tape, and it's just some weight so it doesn't fall over. And look, boom. Perfectly good iPhone stand. Why spend that five or 10 bucks on Amazon when you can just make something? If you're, you know, if you're concerned about the aesthetics and the appearance of your place of residence, cool. But I live by myself, so I'm not really worried about that. So here you go, people. Bit of a lesson today. You don't have to buy everything. Use a bit of creativity and ingenuity and use things that are around your house. You'd be surprised at the things you can create just by using some creative genius in your brain and just coming up with stuff. So there's a few examples. Anyway, looks like my pasta's about ready. Pasta's done. i switch that off. Switch off the electric and what I'm gonna do. I'm going to pour my pasta in the drainer here. Boom, that's done. And then I'm just going to gonna put it in the sink to cool down real quickly. So I'm not going to be eating this, so I don't need it to be hot. So I just want it to cool. let that drain for a minute as i said i'm not going to put no seasoning on it it's for the birds they don't need no salt i'm just going to leave it plain i'll put that in the blender just to make them smaller i don't want them choking so we'll do that now so this is the particular blender that i use i've been using it for a long time it's the nutra ninja i think it's called a three in one this blender is really cool uh, I've, I've been using it for a long time. I bought my mum one. She loves it as well. Mama, get right. I think Nutri Ninja is a really good brand, personally. Let me know in the comments if you if you use Nutri Ninja as well. So here's one of the attachments. 
I'm not even sure if this is the right attachment because I don't think it's quite common to blend pasta. But I guess we'll find out, right? So I'm going to put my pasta in there. It's actually quite a lot. And switch on the lid, put the lid on. Hopefully this turns out all right. Throw that on my Ninja. Lock it in place, switch it on. And there's a few options down there. There's, there's chop, there's puree, there's mix. I think we're going to go with chop and see how that goes. That's done, let's inspect. And the moment of truth. Hmm. It's not even really worked that well, to be honest. It's worked a little bit, but there's still some quite large pieces. So let's do it again. There's not really a setting for this, so I'm kind of improvising here. But let's try again. And round number two is done, let's inspect. Yeah, not too bad. That's a little bit better. Much smaller pieces. I think we'll get away with that. So, that's gonna do it. So I'm just gonna wash these dishes real quick. Make sure my kitchen's clean. I don't wanna come home to a dirty kitchen. And I'm gonna put this in a Tupperware container. Go for my walk. Like I said, there's no guarantee that I'm gonna see any seagulls today, but if I do, I'll be ready for them. So, we'll see how that goes. But I'll be back when I'm on the roads, on those streets. Stay tuned. So I'm gonna put on my really manly beanie. You can feel the testosterone skyrocketing. And we're about ready to hit the road. I'm just gonna put on my crepes or my sneakers, as you call them in the States. And as you can see, God has risen the sun, even though it's super duper foggy. But the main thing is, no rain and you can already hear the seagulls <laughs> i think the seagulls were i think the seagulls could smell the pasta already but yeah there's no rain it's really foggy but just fine for walking so let's hit the roads all right first thing in the morning on saturday let me get a like for the effort got some bad news folks i've been promising i'm gonna go up these stairs for a long time but these are the stairs here and as you can see it's closed a long way down i'm not sure why it's closed but for safety reasons i'm not gonna go up some scary looking path which said not to go up it so that'll have to be for another day but we're still gonna get some work in today either way it just won't be up the stairs so yeah as i was saying not sure if you could hear me because i know it's really loud from all the cars going by going to work and that but I've been planning to go up them stairs and show it to you on camera, but the path is closed. There's a sign there that says footpath closed. I don't know why, but there might be some construction or something. And if that's the case, I'm not gonna put myself in any sort of danger going up some path, which says not to. So we'll improvise today, figure out something else to do. At the end of the day, it's just about burning calories. It's just about getting them reps in. That's how this weight goes off. It's all about reps, no substitute for it no easy route so right now i'm walking down a hill and see this hill it's really steep it's even steep up there one day i think what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna be doing hill sprints i've heard hill sprints are one of the most effective methods of not just fat loss but of building muscle as well building a really nice aesthetic physique so when i'm stronger when my body's tighter, when my muscles are stronger, have better endurance, I'll probably do, be doing hill sprints on this hill right here. Just doing the, uh, running up the hill for like, I don't know, 100 meters, and then walking back down. I'm just doing sets of that, 10 to 20 sets, however much I need to do. But that'll be for the future. Nowhere near ready at that point yet. So that's just some future plans, but if you have any uh, knowledge or experience with hill sprints or sprints in general for fat loss and for building muscle, leave a comment below and uh, share your thoughts because I'm still learning as I go, as you can obviously tell, and I don't know everything. So let me know what you think. I'll be back in a sec. About 400 calories already. And I may have made a small mistake because this is the spot I was at last time where all the seagulls were, but today, no seagulls. All the seagulls, I can hear them over there. 
and I can see them. There's loads of them. So, might not see them today. If we get lucky, we'll bump into a few, but for some reason they seem to be posted up over there today. But whatever. <laughs> I'm not uh, I'm not no butler here to bring the food delivery for seagulls. So let's go. Oh, hold on. I see one right there. You see it? Posted up. So I'm gonna try to pull up on this seagull. Hopefully it doesn't fly away. But we'll see. So let's see how this goes. The seagull's just cooling. So I'm gonna be quiet now, see if I can pull up on it without it flying away. Right. Wish me luck. A few moments later. Yeah, it didn't work. Some uh, some cyclists went by, if you can see in the distance, and they scared them off. So that failed. <laughs> Maybe next time. So I'm just keep going about my walk, burning these calories. Got my pasta here in case uh, I see any more seagulls just calling. But yeah, look at the beautiful scenery, man. <laughs> God's beautiful creation in the morning. I'm a Christian, if you don't know. I'm a follower of the gospel of the Bible. I believe this was all created by the Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Beautiful, even though it's all gray and wet, still a nice atmosphere. So the, the air is super duper clean. It's just water and greenery. There's no cars here, there's no people. There's me and the birds, a couple of cyclists, a couple of runners. Yeah, it's nice. So yeah, this is what I'm going to be doing most mornings when I wake up. A nice way to start the day. Get some good fresh air, clear the sinuses, get my brain functioning properly. Now my aim for today is to try to burn 2,000 calories on this walk. I'm about 500 in already. But I've said this in the past, but when I exercise, I don't look at the time. So I don't set myself a time limit. Like a lot of people go to the gym and will say, I'm going to the gym for an hour or an hour and a half or two. And then they leave. But in that time, you might not work as hard as you might do another day. Just depending on how intense you go, how sore you are, how tired you are. You might have people blowing up your phone with text messages or emails and you're just wasting time. So I like to set myself a calorie goal and not a time goal. So that way I know that every time I come out here or every time I work, I'm hitting the same amount of calories or at least the amount that I want to hit so for today I'm aiming for 2,000 during this walk if I feel good I'll get another workout in to this evening maybe another thousand but that's the goal as you can see I get out of breath pretty quickly but I also recover pretty quickly too so there's a wonderful scenery there's boats everywhere well, hopefully one day I meet somebody who owns one of these boats. I might make some pretty cool video. Man, all the seagulls are across the river. I don't know if you can see, but there's literally dozens of seagulls over there. So maybe next time I'll have to go the route that side of the river, not this side. Because for some reason they seem to be posted up over there. Maybe when I go there I'll figure out why that is. But there's no wildlife out here, it's just me. Literally just me. It's Saturday morning. Super early in the morning. I won't say what time because I don't want people stalking me. But it's super early in the morning. There's no one here. I'm sure people are hungover. Or just asleep. <laughs> For the most part. Some people will be working. And that, but most people won't be up yet till later. So it's nice and peaceful. Just me out here getting some work. I had people comment say they want to see me sweat. They want to see me working. So there you go. There you go, I'm putting in work. There's nothing fake about this weight loss journey. Anyway, let's see if I can find some seagulls. I'll see you in a bit. So I've now burnt 600 calories. And I'm just going to take a quick pit stop. But while I'm here, something I remembered this morning or thought about this morning that I want to mention. I often get comments from uh, my loyal supporters in the Get Right Gang about how I feel now that I've lost 50, 55 pounds. How, how has that affected my feelings, the feelings in my body, my mind, everything. One thing, <laughs> which is kind of weird, but I'll just tell you for realism, is that this morning I put on my uh, trainers, my J's, and I done up the laces. Now that might not be a big deal to you, but I can tell you this, and other people who are my size will relate. At the start of this weight loss journey, I couldn't do up my laces 
that's how that's how big my gut was i couldn't even bend over to tie my laces so anytime i used to put on my trainers and go outside which wasn't often but whenever i did that i just put on my trainers sneakers crepes we call them crepes you guys call them sneakers i put on my crepes and um i didn't tie them up i just you know i had the laces hanging out and it just looked scruffy now but laces done up i can actually do them up now so that's one thing i know that's kind of that's kind of crazy for most of you to think about not being able to, to tie laces but that's just one of the struggles that happens when you're 500 pound heavyweight or super heavyweight i should say anyway that's enough recovery for now let's go back for uh, some reps all right so i'm out of breath again <laughs> but i'm back at the back at the courts i was here a few days ago and the problem with the courts is this is actually a private court so it's only for people who live around here which is not me so the only reason i was able to get in is because it was raining the last time so there was a problem with the lock today it's fine they probably fixed it so i'd like to come here to play basketball in the mornings but most of the time it's looking like i won't be able to get in the only way i'll be able to get in is if i can maybe sweet talk one of the residents to let me in in the mornings but we'll have to see how that goes i'll have to put on a charm put on the jamal get right charm but today it's locked down there's nobody out here so there's no basketball but i think i'd like to bring my basketball around here most days just in case and worst case scenario there is another basketball court it's about 20 to 30 minutes from here so it's a bit of a bit of a trek but that is a public court it's open to anybody so if i really want to play basketball i can still play i don't have to come to this one but it's just that this one is closer and because it's a private court it's a lot nicer than the, than the public one but we'll see how that goes anyway i think i've got another thousand calories to go so let's keep pushing well i didn't get the stairs that i wanted today because they were closed so these stairs will have to do it's only like one or two flights but stairs are stairs let's get some work <clears throat> yeah. all right there it is it's quite nice up here never been here before Whew. nice little nice little date spot huh so i've got about 700 more calories to go so i'm just going to be walking around sightseeing checking out this place it's all clean and everything man you could tell it's a private location by how clean it is but there's nobody around so here i am Whew. it's hard work trying to lose weight i tell you but it's worth it trust me like i know eventually people have told me this eventually the fat acceptance the fat acceptance community is going to come for me hard pause they're going to target me hard but the truth is i don't care screw you i'm not about fat acceptance do you know what i'm about health acceptance health acceptance remember that see you in a bit all right i just spoke to one of the people in charge of this area and uh, he said he said that I could, um, I can use the court in the mornings. It's not, it's a private court. So I said to him, I'll come in the mornings really early when it's just me around. Won't bring anybody else and I'll be respectful. But he said, yeah, it's absolutely fine. <laughs> he said he might even play a little bit of one-on-one -on -one with me. He asked me if I'm any good at it. I said, no, I'm terrible. He said, yeah, I'm terrible too. So I said, hey, we'll be perfect ass partners then. <laughs> just fluffing around on the courts. But yeah, awesome news guys is that I'm gonna have permission to use these courts from the from the big boss in charge. He says I can use it. So I'll probably be bringing a ball basketball the next time I come here. And this will be a nice way to get some exercise in, get my heart rate up, hit a good sweat. And you know, maybe learn a few skills here and there, some balling skills. Now I'm not good at basketball, as I said. It's just gonna be for fitness and for fun. So, but that's really cool. God is good, man. Let's keep going. Uh, I've got maybe five more hundred calories to go and then I'm going home. Let's go. All right, so I've burnt about 1,800 calories now. And uh, I'm pretty tired. 
I can definitely feel my legs getting heavier or not moving as quickly as I was at the start. So by the time I get home, I would have burnt the, the remaining 200 calories to reach my 2000 calorie goal at least. So I'm heading back now. So that's about it for today. I've seen a lot of people doing like running and jogging. So this seems like it's a good jogging path. So I'll be doing that at some point when I'm stronger. But that's it for, for now. That's my workout for today. I might do another workout later on. We'll see how I feel. But yeah, I'll see you back when I get home. So there is actually a seagull there. And I'll put some pasta on the floor there. Seems to be cautious. Maybe because I'm here. Or maybe because it's Saturday morning and they had a Friday night buffet yesterday and they're full. I don't know, but I put the pasta there, the seagulls there. So if I don't get any footage of it, then just know that the seagulls are taken care of. They've got some good energy there. I'll we'll keep them going for a little while, but I've done my deed. I'll try to stay for a little bit, see if I can get some footage of the seagull eating. But if not, I am going home. I'm tired. This was a good workout and I'm ready for rest. So yeah, see you in a bit. So this is the hill where I'll eventually be doing my hill sprints. As you can see, or maybe you can see, it's pretty steep. So when I'm fit and stronger, I'll be doing some hill sprints. But comment below if you have any experience or knowledge of hill sprints. I've heard it's a really good way to burn fat and maybe build some muscle, some leg strength. So I'd like to learn a bit more about that. But a quick update on the bird. Didn't eat it. <laughs> Seagulls weren't hungry today, but to be fair, like there's a lot of greenery. There's a lot of greenery with uh, berries on them, so I think they probably probably eat berries. There's plenty of berries around here, so they're probably not that hungry after all. So I'm not even going to worry about it. I'm not going to bring no more pasta out here. It's just a pain in the ass, and it seems like they don't particularly care for it anyway. So done my part, but now it's back home. Go home, rest up, <laughs> edit this video, and then get on with the rest of my day. So, I think that will be it, man. I'm gonna wrap it up here. Here's the top comments as usual. Thank you to everyone for the support. Let's keep pushing all the way, man. We're going all the way, no stopping. See you next time. Love you all. Let's get right.